So we need to make sure that this is not just an armor in actuality. It's a style or a style or a pattern of creating layered materials that can form any shape, potentially. Right, and here's the layers, sort of a diagrammatic, a very simple diagrammatic breakdown of what the hypothesis that we're working with right now. Layer one is chemically reinforced polymer. Layer two is chemically reinforced low density alloy. Layer three is a chemically reinforced high density alloy, right, so it's the heaviest part of the armor. And then layer four pertains to the shock absorption, the shock distribution. Now we're thinking about using different, doing experiments with different gels. There are different uh, bulletproof gels that they're designed to absorb shock and ripple it throughout the body, right? And that helps with uh, mitigating the, the sort of damage that's, that's inflicted upon the body. And then layer five is the breathable layer. And then we're thinking about having a, a tiny layer of perforation that allows to, the, the body to, to basically just to breathe, but, but not at the sacrifice of its capability to resist uh, bullets.